Still to come here on the Lunchtime News, exclusive pictures of a prostate cancer patient operated on by a robot. It's a UK first. Now, ITV News has been given exclusive access to the first prostate cancer operation, which was performed less than 24 hours ago, using the latest and most precise technique ever, a robot. Surgeons who removed a deadly tumour from a 48-year-old patient say the two cameras attached to the robotic device gave them a crystal clear image of the cancer they eventually removed. In fact, it's so precise that they can, in theory, peel a grape with it. Here's our medical editor, Lawrence McGinty's exclusive report on the RoboDoc. A patient lies on the operating table, almost hidden from view by the latest surgical robot shrouded in plastic. He's having a cancer in his prostate removed. All around are the usual theatre nurses and anaesthetists. The only person not here is the surgeon. This is quite extraordinary. The patient undergoing the operation is in the darkened room you can see behind me. But the surgeon doing the operation is in this room, sitting at a console which gives him a stunning 3D view of what he's doing as he manipulates the robotic instruments in this very delicate procedure. It's keyhole surgery and the tube that carries the surgical instruments also carries two cameras. That gives the surgeon a gory but incredible view. 3D, high definition and magnified ten times. So his movements can be incredibly precise. The 3D is fantastic. It's like you're inside of the patient. It really feels like you're actually inside, seeing everything. And because of that, you can move much more intuitively. You can move just like you would with no normal surgery. Hi, Jeremy. How are you? Hello. The next day, the patient is up and about, if a little sore, packing to leave hospital. I have had um, surgery before, and uh, I think probably less complex, less risky surgery than this. And, uh, it's, I can't believe I'm feeling so well. Well enough to be discharged only 24 hours after the operation. Thank you very much. Lawrence McGinty, ITV News, Guy's Hospital in London.